Hello guys, welcome to Finstock Bistock. This is a channel where we talk about businesses. We give you tips and insights on how to run, start and manage your business. We also talk about online courses. And today we're going to be talking about, we on the still of the series of anger management. And, and today uh, we're going to be looking at how do you identify anger and also what are the causes of anger. So anger is doesn't look the same to everyone. We all express it differently. For, 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 some, for, some, for some people, Screaming might be the best outlet. For others, they might express it physically by hitting an object or another person. And anger is normal. It's a normal human uh, occurrence or a normal human emotion. But it is always important to find a healthy way to express it so that you don't find yourself you you're being alienated by people around you. So exp expressing anger healthily is also important for your mental health. So what are those things that causes anger? So anger can be caused by either external or internal influences. And a person can, a person or even an event can actually make you angry. And you could be angry because someone cut in line in front of you. You could be angry because someone did not respond to you uh, in a text. Uh, you could be angry because you're emotionally hurt, you're threatened, you're in pain or in a confrontation. So there are many things that can can cause you to be angry. So sometimes we use anger to replace other emotions that would rather we would rather not deal with. Emotions like pain, emotions like fear, emotions like loneliness or loss. And in these cases, we find that anger became <coughs> becomes a, a secondary emotion. And anger, it could be a reaction to a physical pain, and uh, I, or maybe a response to a feelings of fear. So that you are able to protect yourself to that feeling of fear or to protect yourself or maybe you're feeling like you're perceiving like you feel you're feeling like you're being attacked or in a it can also be in a response to a frustrating situation so anger is often caused by a trigger and this could be either rational or irrational and some common triggers that anger causes include things like dealing with the loss of a loved one even when you have lost your job if you're going through a breakup if you're feeling at your job or a task if you're being fatigued or you're getting an or you getting in an accident and or getting a condition that that causes physical changes in your body example like um, losing your sight or your ability to walk so this can be causes or something that can trigger anger so anger could be a symptoms or a response also to a medical condition and anger could be a symptom of depression substance abuse ADHD and bipolar disorder so we have types of anger. We have the passive, uh, passive or aggressive anger. So here, you find that a person tries to repress their anger to avoid dealing with it, but they typically, in the end, they end up expressing it in unhealthy and undermining ways. And then you have assertive anger. So this can be a healthy option for expressing anger, and um, it involves handling anger in a controlled manner by by using your words to calmly explain and try to diffuse the situation so here anger is expressed in a non-threatening way and then we have open openly aggressive anger so in this case this type of anger might be accompanied by physical or verbal aggression such as screaming or hitting things so this type of anger is typically to hurt uh, the person or the anger is directed is directed at emotionally or physically so um Th those are some of the causes that those are some, some of the types of anger that we have i hope you have understood or i hope you have learned a thing or two if you have learned something leave it in the comment section and i'll be sure to read it out make sure at the end of this video you like you comment subscribe share hit on the notification button so that every time i upload a new video you can always be notified and if you're interested in learning more about anger management you can do this at finstock university college visit their website at www.finstockuniversity.com or call them at 0703 313 or send them an email at info at until next time, goodbye.